friends, so today I thought it would be fun to have a look inside of my makeup bag. Now I've never bought a makeup bag before, I know I'm 25 and I've never bought a makeup bag, um, but yeah, I bought this one which is from Ted Baker and I'm in love with it so much, it's the perfect size and yeah, I'm going to show you what is inside, the stuff that I use on a day to day basis, but also if I was travelling this is what I would take with me, so let's have a look inside. <laughs> So the first thing that I've got is Nivea Soft Moisturiser which is for face, body and hands because I'm a big believer in moisturising because I don't want wrinkles early and I don't want dry skin so moisturiser is a definite must to have in my makeup bag. Next we are moving on to Benefit Professional. Every beauty blogger loves this stuff, I love this stuff, it smells like oranges, makes your skin soft and yeah so I love this stuff very much. Next is concealer and this concealer is very well loved, I love this stuff so much and as you can see loads of the prints come off, it looks really tatty right now but this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and I have nothing bad to say about this, you've probably seen it in so many videos before because everyone loves this because it's good and it does its job so well done Rimmel, you are very good at concealing. Uh, next I'm going to move on to foundation which is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid uh, and it's got a little pump, you have to actually buy the pump separately which doesn't really make sense to me but anyway, uh, yeah, so this is what I use as a foundation, I I go between this one and the wake me up but at the moment I am loving this one very much and yeah it's in the paler shade which is NC15 and it does it does a nice job to my face so that's good then have a pressed powder now I've been using this one since I ever started makeup I've always gone back to it I have used millions of these I've gone through so many um, there's nothing much to say about it it's a powder it's great it's in shade ivory which is one of the really pale ones and yeah I don't like using loose powders I find them very messy I end up looking like I've been snowed on afterwards so I always stick to the pressed powders Next is Sleek Brow Kit, this is the thing that I use to do with my eyebrows to make them do their thing and it's got a wax in it which I never use, I actually only use the eyebrow powder in it which is very very good and these last forever, like I haven't even hit pan on this at all, it's just it just keeps going, it's like the eyebrow kit that never fails so yeah brilliant. Next I have got my Body Shop Shimmer Waves, now I don't use this as a blusher anymore but I do however use the really pale colour at the bottom and I use that for highlighting just because it's really really pretty to use as a highlighter so I have that in there to do the highlighting thing and it yeah good times. Um, I've got some eyelash curlers because people like to curl their eyelashes and yeah these are really nice I love these these were actually on a blog post of mine just because they're really pretty colors it's like rainbow curlers and I love rainbow things um, and I also have the tweezers to match in there because you've got to keep your eyebrow game high and sometimes you get those really annoying little hairs that shouldn't grow where they do so you just get them out with those bad boys. I have also got a bronze block because I like to do the contouring thing. Uh, I never used to contour, I never knew how to do it, but then I learned how to do it and this is what I use to do it. Um, it's very nice. Again, sleek. I love sleek makeup, as you can see. Then I have got a Maybelline colour tattoo, which supposedly lasts 24 hours. I'm not sure why you'd want to wear makeup for that long, but whatever floats your boat. Um, this is in the shade On and On Bronze, because I use this as an eye primer, but it can be used on its own, and it's very, very pretty. But I use it to keep my eyeshadow to sticking... What am I... My words aren't coming out. But yeah, I use this to... Uh, make the eyeshadow stay on my eyes but it can be used by itself. Then on to mascaras, I, I go to loads of different mascaras like I don't use just one so I actually have two in here. I have this one which is the sleek one which is their um, full fat lash one which is great and I love the fact that it's in a square tube because I hate things that roll off my desk, I like them to stay where I put them and I also have a little Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara from MAC which is a little travel size and this is very very good, I'm very impressed with this so I'm sort of using this one more than this one which is surprising because I really like the sleek one. Next I have got a teeny weeny MAC eye makeup remover and yeah it's just like the micellar waters but in a teeny weeny cute little travel size bottle. I'm a sucker for buying little things like travel size. I want everything just because they're cute and small. Um, but yeah this actually cost £10 which 
probably wasn't worth it, but never mind, it's cute. Then I have an eyeliner, just a standard one, which is the Rimmel Exaggerate Liquid Eyeliner. That's how I do my flicks, and yeah, eyeliner's good, so go team. I always wear eyeliner, I very rarely do my makeup without wearing it. Uh, sticking with eyeliners, I also have a contour clubbing waterproof uh, pencil eyeliner, which I use on my waterline. Um, this one's probably the best black eyeliner pencil that I've ever used. I'm very, very impressed, so I'll always go back to them. So thank you very much, Beaujois. I love that, Beaujois. Sounds fancy. Then I have a nail varnish in here, which is actually the color that I'm wearing at the moment, which is Barry M in Lychee, and it's one of their Jelly High Shine ones. Um, I've I've gone crazy. I used to love really bright colours on my eyes and my nails and I've suddenly changed over this last like few months and I really like neutrals so yeah I've gone to have this in my little bag because you never know when you need to repaint your nails. Then I've got a lip gloss because sometimes you just want a nice lip gloss. I don't always wear lipsticks and I've got a Tanya Burr one and this one is Picnic in the Park which is probably my favourite one from her range and it smells really nice. It smells like strawberries, which is very pretty, but yeah, it's like a nice natural baby pink, so that's good. Um, I've also got a lipstick in here because I love lipsticks. You may have seen this one in my last video. This is MAC Angel, and yeah, it's just a nude, and I don't think you can go wrong with having a basic nude lipstick. Not much left to go in here. I've got a perfume because when I travel and stuff, I don't want to carry a massive bottle. Uh, I have the little one. This one is actually from New Look. It's out of a sample kit, and it's in shade shade it's not a color come on cherry um it's in the scent dusk which is quite heavy oh, but it smells beautiful um so if you want to know what i smell like at the moment i smell like that i might get a bigger bottle um and the last thing in here which you can't see but you've probably already seen in my last video if you're really dedicated and watch them all uh this is my favorite blush of all time i'm never gonna buy another blusher because this one is just amazeballs um this is please yourself mineralized blush that was a tongue twister and it's perfect it is so pretty i love it so 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 much and we have come to the end of my bag. Now, obviously, I would have brushes with me, but I don't want like squishing brushes because they lose their shape, so I don't carry them in my makeup bag. But um, that's all the makeup that I have in here. That's all the stuff that I use. Obviously, I use eyeshadows as well. I'm using the Vice 3 palette a lot and the Naked 3 as well, but it's not gonna fit into a bag, so that's why it's not in here. That's everything that was in my bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you like these sort of videos by giving it a big thumbs up and comment down below of some of the things that you could not live without in your makeup bag because uh, I want to know. I like knowing new things. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all really, 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 really well. That was a lot of reallys and I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye. I always do that really annoying bye. Goodbye. <laughs>